Hello everyone and welcome back to another GTA Online guide, where in this video we'll be taking a look at the Kurtz 31 patrol boat. A boat added as part of the Pero Loco something other other uh, heist DLC. I keep forgetting the name, shut up. For the base price of 2.95 million dollars, you get your hands on a boat that is based on the PBR. A boat used by the Americans in Vietnam, but is also probably known as the boat that Jeremy Clarkson drove in the Grand Tour. Yeah, I know you watched it. I'm always watching you, David. So, is it any good or not? Well, to begin with, it's uh, not a good sign. It's a Pegasus vehicle, which means that where it spawns upon calling it in is based on where the planets in the solar system are currently placed in orbit, which means a lot of unnecessary travel just to get to it. Even worse if you get it spawned in the Merryweather base, which to this day Rockstar still haven't fixed. Either that or they're just complete masochists or sadists. The boat itself pretty closely matches the PBR. I reckon a lot of people will buy it just because of Jeremy Clarkson, or fans of the PBR, which in turn are sort of coming from Jeremy Clarkson, yeah, me included. But is it any good? You're having a laugh, right? The boat, while able to turn reasonably well, isn't very fast at all. Wasn't the PBR supposed to be rather quick in real life? Anyways, it can operate in exceedingly shallow water, just like the real thing, like the sewage drains of Los Santos. Oh no! Oh! Oh, damn it! Oh, 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 oh. come on! Come on! Uh. Yay! Alright! The boat can carry up to four people, although that is mainly just a suggestion because this is of course a boat. The tug, for instance, has just one seat for the driver, but it's a very rare instance where you see a tugboat without a party of at least ten people riding on it shooting off flares and miniguns and random rockets all over the place. Sometimes even with the vehicle on board, which will inevitably blow up shortly, so grab some popcorn if you do see that. Anyways, the Kurtz 31 patrol boat has four seats, a driver, a passenger, and two people on the guns. One on the front and one on the back. The machine gun on the back is pretty darn useless, as it cannot really aim that well in most directions, and only has one gun, whereas the one on the front has two guns and has better aiming angles. Both of the guns damage is fine, taken out any police helicopter or boat that's going to be inevitably chasing the thing around because some twat kept on firing one of the guns for no discernible reason. But the defense isn't very good. It'll only take one homing rocket and it's gone. That's pretty much all the Kurtz 31 patrol boat has going for it. It's another one of those vehicles that'll be fantastic in the creation of a GTA movie for content creators, but very impractical for use in the current environment that GTA Online lobbies consist of nowadays. Pair it up with the likes of some of the other era vehicles like the Valkyrie, and I can see a very Vietnam style era movie-ish thing coming along. In any case, what do you guys think about the boat? Are you going to get one even at its price tag? Let us know in the comments, and if you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like and do all the usual other stuff that you do to channels that you like, and I'll see you around, folks.